Welcome to Live Doctors. I'm your host for this program. My name is Dr. Kent Barshov. We are here with a physician from America, Dr. Francis McMahon. Dr. McMahon is the chief of human genetics branch of the National Institute of Mental Health in the Intramural Research Program. Dr. McMahon received his medical degree from Johns Hopkins. He trained in psychiatry and also had further training in the genetic aspects of psychiatry. So Dr. McMahon, welcome. Pleasure to be here. So Dr. McMahon, that we would like to know more about mood and anxiety disorders and their genetic component. Sure. Well, mood and anxiety disorders really are some of the most common mental illnesses that people suffer from. By mood disorders, we mean illnesses like depression, manic depression, bipolar disorder, and anxiety disorders include uh, phobias, panic disorder, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, and uh, a whole range of less well-defined conditions that can interfere with people's ability to feel comfortable and safe in their day-to-day -day activities. So when you say mood disorder, what exactly you refer to when you talk about a mood disorder? Yeah, so mood disorders, <coughs> uh, as we think of them in psychiatry, really are uh, a, uh, a form of mental illness where the, 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 the way in which our, our mood varies through the day up or down, somewhat sad, somewhat happy, uh, is, um, is out of whack. So that the way in which the mood is regulated uh, it goes wrong. And people can fall into a, an extended period of sadness, loss of interest, trouble sleeping or eating. We think of that as uh, depression. Or they can uh, have the opposite effect where their mood becomes uh, excessively happy or high, uh, perhaps very irritable accompanied by uh, excessive activity, uh, inability to sleep, uh, and impulsive uh, behavior. We, we think of this as, as mania. Uh, when someone has an illness where they suffer both depression and mania, uh, we call that bipolar illness, and that uh, occurs in perhaps one or two percent of the population, so one or two people out of a hundred. Much more common is uh, clinical depression. Uh, which uh, has uh, uh, about one in five people uh, in the United States will experience clinical depression sometime in their lifetime. Clinical depression occurs without the elevated mood that we see uh, in bipolar disorder and can sometimes persist uh, for months at a time. The big concern that we have with, with clinical depression is that it can, aside from uh, making it difficult for people to, to work or or maintain their, their normal relationships, it puts them at risk for suicide, uh, for complications from alcohol or drug abuse, or other general uh, medical problems that can uh, shorten their lives or, or threaten their, their, their health in general. 